Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Save Room. If you've been following along with my streams, you may have already seen this one already. It's a puzzle-based Resident Evil inventory manager. Uh, yeah, that's that, that's what it is. It's actually a really difficult game and I've been enjoying it a lot so far. Uh, maybe not the best one to watch, but we'll, we'll see. You let Save me know. Room. Save room. First of all, I, I really appreciate that they've gone for this kind of like, they've doubled down on this almost horror element, but primarily it is a puzzle game. All we're doing is we're given a certain number of weapons and items and such that we have to uh, range in our inventory and once we do, that's that's the level. Things seem pretty easy so far, but they actually get quite complicated later on. I've I've gotten pretty stuck on a number of levels, but you'll find yourself like, oh yeah, I'm I'm ooh, I'm doing such a good job. I'm level I'm at level three. This game has forty levels, and it gets diabolical. From uh, chat during stream was kind of pointing out to me that uh, these eggs are a direct reference from a Resident Evil, which is a nice touch. Um, they they apparently would. Um, I haven't played any of the Resident Evil games. It got voted down in favor of Subnautica. You're welcome, chat. But the eggs were apparently very effective healing items, and in this case, they still are. Later on, we're going to be running into potential health problems. In fact, you might see in the top left corner our uh, our health kind of meter that's an indicator of some kind of health. I don't know what affects that. I think it's just one of those things that lessens as the game goes on. Oh, this is this is where things start to get like all, immediately very difficult for me anyway because they give me this this freaking Uzi and I don't know how to I never know how to handle the Uzi. I never know what I'm supposed to do with the Uzi. Okay, this actually this has promise. Where do I put the pistol? Here's where things kind of get a little bit more interesting. We're going to be actually loading uh, I put the I put the wrong bullets in the wrong gun there actually. Uh, but we're going to be loading the, the weapons. I'm pretty sure you could be struggling on this level for a long time before you realize that those guns are empty and we can actually save room by uh loading the ammunition into those i don't think we, we can't okay so you can't like get away with um putting all of it in there but you can also combine ammo once you realize that trick i'm sure it's gonna feel like um just kind of nice i don't know m maybe just a nice little reference and not much more than that not really much in terms of like a mechanic but i still think it's a it's a nice little touch okay what are we doing here all right that's that that is correct when they give me the rocket launcher then you know all hope is lost man with no hope loses last a bit of hope that they he didn't even know he had is when they give you the rocket launcher because like you get you get the rocket launcher and like how am i supposed to cram all of this in there and then you somehow you get semi close and then definitely shifting things i think like a trick of this game is figuring out where a weapon absolutely has to go like the, the first and foremost weapon is like yeah okay this thing can't go anywhere else it just doesn't make any sense for it to go anywhere else so i'm gonna put it there and we're gonna work backwards from there kind of like a maze sometimes it's easier just to work backwards i think uh, probably it's just cheating but i mean who, who who no one's gonna judge you no one but god is going to judge you if you cheat at one of those little tiny mazes. Okay, th here's here's where things get a little bit dicey. All right, that looks that looks like it has promise. So that's not going to work because I have. Okay, well let's try putting that there. That seems a bit better. And then all we have to do is shove the rest of the ammo here. Oh, that works out well. I'm pretty sure that that uh, this one gave me a lot of trouble. And I also seem to recall that when I did this on stream, it was a very different arrangement so i think there's more than one way to to solve um, one of these puzzles this game by the way is three dollars and the link is in the description if you want to check it out i think it's absolutely worth three dollars i definitely think you could get like an hour out of this game an hour or two depending on like how long it takes you to solve a puzzle in my case i'm probably gonna get like 20 hours out of this game that's a joke first aid spray so i'm pretty sure this is uh meant to be like kind of another gimmick that trips you up for quite a long time because you like shove everything in there and actually i've solved it but it'll tell you life is too low. So this is uh, this level is actually meant to convey to you that you uh, are gonna have to use items. So we're gonna use that health to uh, recover. Recover from what exactly? I'm not sure. Uh, you notice our, our health is down again, so we're gonna be using these eggs. 
We could use a couple of them. I'm not sure. I don't think that you're going to be like conserving items between rounds. I think it's just meant to be kind of a gimmick and, and also a reference. All right, egg goes there. No, I want the egg. All right, there we go. I'm pretty sure that was the last level I did on stream. Now we have fish. Can we use the fish? We can use the fish. Probably you're gonna wanna use the fish before you use the eggs, huh? But we can't use any more than that, so we're gonna have to figure out what to do with the rest of those. All right, so rifle goes there. That definitely makes sense. Might keep the fish over here. One thing I do struggle with in this game, I kind of wish there was a way to, like, it, I don't know, there's no way to, like, switch an item. I wish I could kind of just, like, click here and it would swap the, the fish with the gun. It's just a minor, minor nitpick, but it does kind of get in the way for me. All right, so maybe the rifle doesn't go there. Or maybe it goes there and then we can do fish. That doesn't make sense either. I don't know. No, it's, it's already falling apart, if I'm being honest. Where would the fish go? No, I don't want that. Give me the fish. That looks okay that's okay but where does the fish go what does the fox say what are we doing here okay fish or sorry, rifle go there fish there egg here what is this for that's not for anything okay get rid of this does this fit here it doesn't okay so that means there's only really one place that the rifle can go and that's this slot here now we can we do have a little bit of flexibility here but mm, no, no. I notice also we have the ability to com to combine. I wonder if there's gonna be crafting later. Oh, oh, I didn't try that. That looks good. Okay, but where does the pistol go? Fish there. Ooh, 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 yes. Egg, done. I wonder if there's an optimal way of using, like do we, does the fish recover more health? And if it does recover more health, maybe it's actually better to use eggs. But the eggs are like single slot. They only take up one slot, so they're always gonna be the thing you're wanting to keep overall okay okay rocket there we're gonna want to keep we're gonna slot this fish over here i think i did it i think i think we've got it we do have it nice um we're definitely gonna want to use some fish let's go ahead and use some fish one one fish two fish red fish blue fish all right we've we've built a tower of some kind of uh nutrition oh we have plants this time what do plants do okay plants also recover health interesting all right so they've given me an uzi ha 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 now i have an uzi all right there we go nice egg goo always place the egg goo last last this uh this feels like it's gonna hurt me well that's illegal oh apparently it, i got an achievement for trying to use the red plant okay so maybe what i gotta do is combine this with this there you go now we have G plus R herbs vial. Can we use this? There we go. Oh, okay. That's that's cute. I didn't know that. So I guess a working knowledge of Resident Evil would probably uh, actually help you in this game. I guess I'm gonna have to play Resident Evil if I want to like do better at this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to we're, we're gonna have to do a Resident Evil stream chat. I'm sorry, it's happening eventually. I don't know. No commitments. All right. So now we have three kinds of herb. Can we use this one? No. Can we combine this one and this one? We can. Can we then use that one? No. Can we combine this one with this? Oh. Okay, you can combine all of them. Now can we use it? Yes, we can. All right. So I guess if you haven't played Resident Evil, in some ways the, the, the novelty of some of the mechanics are maybe a bit more interesting because it requires you to actually uh, kind of puzzle things out instead of just like, oh, I know, I know how this works. This works like this and, and and just like intuitively know exactly how to how to put everything together all right maybe maybe this is the last one I, this is a really compelling game i gotta say i'm just enjoying like figuring things out and and also some of the com com mechanics that i don't just like have an inherent knowledge of okay this is looking like it has some promise yes yes all right all right well that's gonna do it for save room i don't want to spoil too much of the game because you know if you spoil too many of the puzzles then then there's not much reason to buy the game right and it is three dollars so i think it's definitely worth that it's a really cool little game and it's actually quite challenging um this was save room you can find the link in the description if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time thanks very much Thank you.